Hello and welcome again to the 2013 International Boston Seafood Show produced by Diversified Business Communications and sponsored by Seafood Business Magazine and SeafoodSource.com. I'm Sean Murphy, SeafoodSource.com editor and I'm here in the Canadian Pavilion today because we're here with Patrick McMurray who is the master oyster shucker. Now am I right that you still hold the world record for the most oysters shucked I in a minute? I still have uh, Guinness Book of World Records. Still got the Guinness Book of World Records? oysters in a minute, yeah. They give you a plaque for that or something? A uh, little little piece of paper, there's a little metal that goes with it as well, yeah. Hanging yeah. hanging proudly in your restaurant, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, behind the bar, yeah, both restaurants. Yeah. He, he's the chef of the Star, is it the Starlight or the Starfish? Starfish. Starfish Oyster Bed and Grill in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And he's down here today because uh, he's going to be judging the oyster shucking competition, which is always a favorite here in the International Boston Seafood Show. Are you uh, psyched about that? Oh, absolutely. I can't wait. So I don't know most of the boys who are in this one anyway, so yeah. it'll be exciting to see how they're doing and to uh, organize and run the whole thing and provide a bit of entertainment for everyone. Now, this is your first time at the Boston Seafood yeah. Show. What's your impression of the place? It's massive. It's it's great. Everybody's here. You know, everyone's in the boat and having a good time and, and uh, showing a lot of the latest product and it's very cool to see what's out there in the industry, especially right down to the, uh, the packaging stuff and all the machinery and all that as well. Now, we were talking before uh, off camera about uh, how you got into it. You know, how does a landlocked, <laughs> landlocked uh, Toronto boy get into oyster shucking? You know, when I think Toronto, when I think Canada, I think of lots of other seafood, but not necessarily oyster. How did, how did you, that yeah. happen for you? Well, we've been doing oysters in Toronto since 1834, since the Erie Canal got finished, actually. I looked there a little go. bit of history, and throughout the 1850s, it was very prevalent in Toronto. Uh, down on King Street at the St. Lawrence Market. Mm -hmm. And all along King Street, they would shuck and put them to the hotels. So I ended up working at uh, an oyster bar while I was waiting to get into teacher's college after my university degree, and mm -hmm. it just sort of stuck. I've been in the restaurant trade since I was 16 years old, which makes it about 107,000 years that I've been doing this. <laughs> it's the oyster that makes me look this young, it's true. That's right, and, so, uh, all that clean living, the All shellfish. that clean living, yeah. the oyster shucking is how it, does, how it does. So I just happened to get good at what I was doing, and I you know, create, ended up creating my own little oyster knife and technique on how to open up oysters uh, fast and clean. Yep. Won a couple competitions, you win the world championships, and I got asked to do the Guinness Book, and we, there you go. Patrick, we're at is, Patrick is definitely an authority on uh, oysters and oyster shucking. And you're going to be doing a master class later today. Tell yep. us what you're going to be talking about there. It's, it's surprising even in this area when, when I start talking about oysters, people go, oh, Toronto guy, what does he know about oysters? I, for some reason, know a heck of a lot about oysters. And you know, we, I end up talking about the five different species that we have here in North America and what the flavor ranges of that, how to shuck them. Each one individually has got a different technique. Yeah. But the main thing is how do you translate that to the customer? Because it's very important to sort of talk about it in the light of almost like wine. Mm -hmm. This flavor range is like this and this oyster tastes like that. And mm -hmm. that helps explain it to the clients who will then appreciate it for what it is, and they'll develop a palate for the various different types of oysters we can grow here in North America, which is, I think, one of the best and uh, most diverse varieties in the world. Because we have five species, most other places they'll show two at most, maybe three, mm -hmm. but we can show all five, which is a fantastic thing, and that's what I'm gonna go through. Well, if anybody out there watching here and isn't able to attend the International Boston Seafood Show and can't catch Patrick's masterclass, I just want you to know we actually recorded a webinar about this, and it's actually on SeafoodSource.com right now, so you right can now? see it I'm right on now. The web right now. You are on the web right now. That intraweb thing is never going to fly. It's amazing. I don't, yeah, I don't get it. It's a fad. It's a fad. <laughs> But you can actually you can catch the webinar online right now. You can do a search on our website. You can also look at through the menus. You can find uh, uh, the master class. We didn't call it the master class, but it's uh, oyster delicious. We call it on the website. So uh, you can hear all about everything Patrick would want to tell you about oysters and the flavors and everything. So uh, be sure to check that out, and be sure to keep checking out seafoodsource.com for more coverage throughout the 2013 International Boston Seafood Show.